All right, so uh, we're joined today on the social network by the lead pair of that movie. In fact, Deepika Padukone and uh, Ranveer Singh, who join us from Mumbai. In fact, we spoke to them a little bit earlier. And uh, my first question to them, in fact, was what, in fact, did they make of this entire controversy? Did they, in fact, feel that they had hurt religious sentiments as this petition claims they had? Uh, the film really is a love story and it is about uh, Ram and Leela um, as two people. It has nothing to do with uh, anything to do with Indian religion or Indian history. Um, I also think that um, um, I, I do know that our film has been passed by the censor board. We have got our censor certificate um, and, and I think that's sort of a clearance as to, uh, you know, that the film can be released and that, that there is no real issue with the film. The next question we also uh, asked them was whether they found that, you know, with so many groups actually coming out and appropriating these names and saying that these actually belong to only their cultural context, did they find this artistically stifling? Um, for my part, um, I do know that we have got our censor certificate. We've got a UA actually, which is, uh, I mean, it's a UA. Uh, it has nothing to do with uh, the traditional form of performance called Ram Leela. It has nothing to do with Lord Ram. It has nothing to do with Ras Leela, which is associated with Lord Krishna. It's got nothing to do with Hindu mythology. It's just the names of two people in a love story. Now, through the years, you have love stories that are always titled after the lead protagonists of that story. If it's Heer Ranja, Leila Majnu, Romeo Juliet, Soni Maiwal, Ram Leela. There's no more or less to it. Uh, Leela is the name of Sanjay Leela Bhansali's mother. Um, Ram is the name of my Nana. So these are common names. You have Amit, Raj, Rohit, Ram. You have uh, Neha, Priya, uh, Leela. It's, there's no more or less to it. So I think, uh, like Deepika said, I think it's a bit unfair to agitate uh, on the basis of an assumption. Um, I think uh, we've been very explicit in telling everybody that it's a love story. Um, and yeah, there is no, nothing more or less to it.